What's up guys, Dinebot here, and Robin is out, so we're going to take a look at him. Grab his voice pack real quick. Normal skin, and his other skin. I kind of like the standard a little better. So, let's go ahead and hop on in here. Now this guy is brand new, he's another Hindu god. Got a interesting kit, he is a melee rage character, so... Uh, been a while since I played a melee god. This is going to be kind of interesting to test out. So we'll get in here. We'll buy some items. Take a look at his passive and his kit, and get started. Now, as always, playing against bots in a apparently I set up a joust match instead of arena. So this is going to be really interesting. The best defense is a good offense. All right, let's take a look at his kit. So chain of blows. Each successive hit within five seconds adds to his combo chain. Allowing Prana Onslaught, which is his one, to do an additional 7.5% damage for each hit in the combo, up to a maximum of 60% total. Hits on towers don't count, and additional counts hits above 8 don't count, so... Until it's been fired, rather. There's his basics, there's his one, there's his two, which is an overhead kick. Now that overhead kick is a shockwave, uh, and he's unable to be damaged before it, or, yeah, while he's doing it, and it's a movement speed. And then three, his ten hand shadow fist flies forward. It's a root and it's a health return. And then his mystic rush. He rushes to his targets, damaging them, knocking aside all enemies in his path. The target's then linked to Ravana, doing full damage to him while all other uh, gods do reduce damage. So, needless to say, it's an interesting kit. And this is going to be a weird fight because I screwed up on my. Yeah, this this is kind of a weird god. I keep forgetting that's an instant fire. Yeah, time to get out of here. Let's see what his back animation looks like. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Eh, well. An ally has been slain. Of course they have. His running animation is a little weird to me. Alright. So his passive directly An buffs that one. So we want to get in there and do some basic attack damage. Thanks, Anubis, you dick. Yeah, that did significantly more damage that way. Lifesteal might be a good idea in this character. I don't know. I've never seen a 5v5 joust with bots, so we're just going to roll with it because it's hilarious. You know what, we'll buy an active. Um, let's go with beads for Sobek and for Emir. <coughs> and for Thor. And for Neath, and not so much for Herc, but hey. Might try testing him on a camp to see how he his clear is. An enemy has been Good job, Art. You have slain an enemy. And down he goes. Bring it on. <laughs> You have slain an enemy. I, I like him, he's interesting. Thanks for the heals. Definitely benefit for some CDR. That's got my ult up. He has no dash move either. Except for that ult, so... Oh, what do we want to put on him? Recommended... What do they recommend? About the standard and seal? Really? No, I don't think so. Uh, I might go with uh, this Jotun's, actually. Nicely. Okay, so that's how that targeter works. So let's take a look at that alt again. Rushes to his targets, dealing damage and knocking aside all enemies Not in his path. Enemies. So, let's take a look at killing, say, 
not so big, but. He'll put out some damage. See what we can do about this tower. And so you can see with his passive hits on towers don't count. Out of mana is not a good look with this guy. Robot, you're so dead. The best defense is a good offense. Not sure how I feel about that alt. <clears throat> Come on, let's go, Ravon. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get him. I can get Neath, though. Yeah, if you wait for that passive to charge up, and of course I haven't leveled it, so... Slow percentage up to 12.5, slow duration 2 seconds. That's a nasty slow. And that's a dead tower. An enemy has been slain. That damage immunity is nice. Double kill. You have slain. Didn't realize that the targeter for the ult was still up. Oops. Double kill. Forgive Shiva. That's too bad. Devils take it. <clears throat> what else? Executioner? Eh. I like the health, but maybe Asi? Yeah, I could use some lifesteal. And Shut down. Go with wing blade. So liking the playstyle so far, uh, as always against bots, it's kind of hard to tell, but the basic kit is really kind of neat. It's a little little bit of fun to work with. Um, takes some getting used to because you have to be aware of that passive. You have slain an enemy. Couldn't quite take the Sobek. Yeah, he can definitely put out some damage. Like, scary damage. What else is kind of on here? <clears throat> Kins? Maybe. Eagleball? Oh, that could be interesting. I don't know, maybe some crit? Or transcendence? Let's see what we can do with transcendence. It's a little late, but you never know, it could be really interesting. I'm kind of thinking Ninja Tabi might be better for him. I mean, we've got the physical power and the movement speed, but then again, he does need the escapes, or the speed to escape, so. You have slain an enemy. An enemy has been slain. Got him. Double kill. That'll let a great wave clear. Triple kill. the glow. Boy, that passive ticks down quick. Yeah, with attack speed upgraded, he's gonna be a beast. Shall we go in? Uh, 
Don't think so, guys. <laughs> this is just a clusterfuck. I can see some speed potions being really fun with him. It's a little hard for me to judge a melee character like this because I've never played them and there's really not that many of them. Um, I mean, even Vamana kind of has a sword. Well, not sword, but weapon. Remembering that that one is an instant cast is going to take me a little getting used to. I think it's gonna, probably going to take a fair amount of people some getting used to. There's the triple and the Dia side. Yeah, that making people do full damage to him and half to other gods is going to be really, really interesting for tank situations. There we go. So that's Ravana, Ravana however you say his name, in a joust. I didn't mean to play with bots. 5v5. It was ridiculous. Thoughts on him? I like the kit. He's a unique character. Oh, most of the smite gods kind of are. I think he's going to be fun to play. As with all of them, it's really going to be what happens with him in Conquest. Let's take a look at his windscreen. Well, alrighty then. Alright guys, my name has been Dinebot. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Scarlet Dragon. This is Dinebot. Predator Cyborg. Flown Samurai from Sanitarium.fm and we'd like to invite you to join us this weekend for our 8th birthday extravaganza. We'll be raising money for Games Aid by streaming all weekends starting on July 3rd and running through July 5th until somebody dies from exhaustion. There'll be games, music, fun, and probably some stupidity. So head over to www.twitch.tv forward slash sanitariumfm and join us. It's for charity. It's for charity. It's for charity. It's for charity. <laughs>